a lot of good at bats today. And the encouraging thing was we barreled up a lot of balls and, and uh, you know, you know, tons more than yesterday. That you saw a few more two strike battles. There's still some strikeouts that are that are weighing heavy with guys that don't need to be strikeout guys, and that's the difference. We're still very excited about him. I think he's going to grow from this. Um, the stuff is there. It's just a matter of, of getting kind of the anxiety behind him now. But uh, but I'm I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. You know, we we got to find and a way to find a way to hold this rotation together until we get Chris Durham back, and that'll solidify a lot of things. Finding a way to piece together the rotation until we can get that key component back in there. Um, you know, we, with Dan's and Durham going, now we just got to have one guy to step up in the middle of that rotation, and and uh, we got to battle for that. But but you know, under, you know, a lot of new guys, a lot of new guys getting first taste of Division One baseball, and I thought today's game, you know, I, we we stood in there toe to toe and swung with them, and and uh, we just kind of pick up the pieces and move on here. Encouraging things, but uh, but Hunter is mature enough to understand that you're going to, you know, the kind of hitter he is, he's going to have days like he had yesterday, but he's going to have a lot of days like he had today, too, and that's the encouraging thing. And, you know, and, and I thought Trello had a couple of better swings he around did. him, and, and Ben keeps playing well in that batter's box. He, what I like about Ben now is he's shown a lot of poise uh, as a guy that can be an on-base percentage guy in front of Hunter. So, a lot of positives to take from a loss, if that's the case.